here with the Woody's Fitness. Thank you for coming to check out my channel. I just want to start off by saying uh, I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm not a powerlifter, just a personal trainer here to educate and encourage everyone along in their fitness journey. Again, thank you for coming to check out this video. Today's video is going to be a full leg superset workout. Uh, this can, can be completed in the gym. You will need a TRX, kettlebells, uh, a barbell or a curl bar if you have them. Um, this also features uh, my enhanced fitness uh, recovery method. Uh, so this workout, we're just gonna go over it real quick. Uh, it's gonna start with TRX squats, two sets of eight, and kettlebell swings, two sets of 10. Just a nice little warm up. Um, then we're gonna go into some hypertrophy with barbell lunges and some barbell calf raises. Uh, gonna complete six sets of that, uh, 20, 20 reps on the first one, uh, 16, 12, eight, four, two. Uh, so pretty much we're gonna break that down to, when I say 20 reps, we're doing lunges, so it's gonna be uh, 10 on your left leg, 10 on your right leg. Uh, and then we're just gonna finish off with the enhanced uh, functional recovery with some leg press. Uh, we're gonna do 10 reps, then we're gonna add weight and then do another 10 reps. So you'll see two sets, 10 and 20, we're just adding more weight there. Uh, we're gonna stretch in between. Uh, we'll do a sitting hamstring, a sitting hip flexor, a quadricep strap, a hamstring active isolation stretch, and then we're gonna go ahead and complete another um, set of that leg press. Again, increasing the weight after the uh, first 10 sets. So with that being said, um, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of talk through uh, my methods and just little things to kind of give you some tips and tricks while you're watching this video. All right, so I'm just gonna begin here with that um, TRX squat. This is really just gonna help my leg mobility and just kind of a warm up again, just to prepare myself for what we're getting ready to work on here. This, and again, this workout is very similar to the shoulder superset. Um, again, you can pretty much just see that it's pretty much the same layout, um, just different exercises targeting the lower body, okay? And then another popular exercise here, which is the kettlebell swing. Um, a lot of people are interested in kettlebell swings. So I want you to just note, uh, the kettlebell swing is similar to a squat. Um, the upper body is literally just controlling the weight, okay? But the power exertion is coming from the hip as we explode to the top of this squat, um, causing the arms to swing with the kettlebell. And then from there, it's pretty much just momentum um, it's a good warm up for stability. Okay, so TRX for mobility and the kettlebell swing for stability. Since we are going to be working a lot with some single leg exercises in this, well, the bulk of the workout is single leg exercise. So I do like to make sure that I have my stability properly warmed up, especially with my legs. Okay, so then we're on to our second set. Here I kind of switch into the um, single-handed kettlebell swing, uh, just to warm up those upper body muscle groups, even though we're not really gonna focus on them. I like this because it's kind of a uh, TRX and kettlebell is pretty much a full body uh, activation. Even though your hands aren't doing or uh, are producing much work, the TRX, you still have to hold your hands and support your body. So you do get some stimulation and activation through your arms. So nice little dynamic warm up. And then here I'm practicing uh, some single leg balance. Uh, again, like I said, this video, uh, the bulk of this workout is going to be uh, completed with the single leg reverse lunges on the barbell. So just a good little uh, single leg warm up with some balance is always gonna help. And again, I'm doing this throughout the video because um, it's where I sped this part up. And I sped the other one up, so no worries. Maybe I'll speed this one up too. Yeah. 
Then we move into a single leg balance to reach. I don't know if anyone checked out my previous video on balance and stance progressions, uh, but if you know that uh, the proprioceptive the band of sitting on a half bone pad is more challenging uh, to perform a single leg on that. Um, so go check that video out on balance and stance progressions. Uh, another thing mentioned in there is the stagger stance, which is the stance that we complete our lunges and as seen here. Notice with the lunge, most important thing here um, is that when I'm fully lowered myself to the ground, okay, my both my knees are in a 90 degree angle. Okay, I don't want my knees to extend over my toes. Again, I go all the way down to get my positioning. And as long as my both my knees are at a 90 degree angle, when I all the way come down, then that is a pretty good stance. Um, and a lot of people have asked me about completing squats on Smith machine. Um, and all of them will tell you I am very opposed to it. I do not do squats on the Smith machine or the assisted barbell. I just feel like the positioning uh, with the back as you move through this compound movement, uh, it doesn't allow for proper movement. So it places a lot of strain on the lower back. So I just don't prefer it, nor do I recommend anyone or, or my clients to perform a squat with the assisted barbell. Um, so again, we have some more um, single leg balance activities. Like I said, I sped that one up this time because I'll leave the other one how it is. Again, so we're moving up into our second set of split squats. Again, we have our 90 degree angles with our knees, all right. Now, notice the back foot as well. Um, a lot of people like to put their tip of their toe on the ground, um, but we wanna have that ball joint, okay? You see, you wanna have that ball joint of that back foot secured on the ground, because as you come up, it is gonna be there to help support and assist um, just with that single leg, just to make sure we can get all the way. And for the initial push off, really, um, it'll help just to stabilize and make sure that we're performing this exercise safely and effectively. Uh, so again, we're gonna move into some calf raises. You might notice going into the third and fourth set that I do switch up my positioning uh, for my toes with my calf raise, which I will mention um, these positions. So when we turn our toes inward and um, perform our calf raises, we are working on the outer portion of the calf. And while we turn our feet outward, as if to be a, as in a V where our heels are touching and perform our calf raises, that way we work on the interior portion of our calf. Okay, so just a tips and tricks and in case you're working on uh, particular muscle groups. Um, I do have a similar uh, tip for the leg press when we get there. I'll wait till we get to that last cool down part. So again, we're still working on those single leg lunges. As you can see, it's getting a little tougher. Okay, and you see here, I have my uh, heels touching for my calf raises. Again, this is gonna work the inner calf. Or gastrocnemius, I should say. The calf is comprised of two muscle groups, the soleus and the gastrocnemius. It was funny, I actually recorded this video. Um, I think I, I forgot to actually put the 45 on the other side the first time. And so I had to record it again. I actually did two sets of 135. Um, Another thing with the Smith machine, I don't know if you notice, I have 10 pound weights on the inside of the 45 pound plates. Uh, depending upon what gym you go to, uh, the assisted bar is not the standard Olympic weight of 45 pounds. The one currently at this gym is 25 pounds, so I do put those extra 10s just to um, emulate an Olympic bar. Again, I have some more single leg balance 
I kind of warmed up, so I'm doing a single leg balance on the foam pad with a torso twist, as you can see in the mirror. I do always love to engage my core in between sets uh, or any muscle group working in between sets, okay? So here we go, one and two. All right, this was definitely gonna be a struggle. So with hypertrophy, again, the main idea is that we're increasing the weight and we're decreasing our reps as the sets progress. So this is the sixth set and I'm only doing two reps and so well four. Okay. Did I do another one? No, okay. I always struggle counting my reps and sets. Anywho, so now we're just gonna kind of start to cool down from that workout and just kind of focus again on that same functional movement of the lunge. Here we're performing a reverse lunge with a kettlebell pass through. So the kettlebell pass through kind of works again like the kettlebell swing, just implementing momentum as we pass um, from the left leg to, I mean the left hand to the right hand and vice versa. Again, this is a single leg exercise. So this is going to help stimulate and promote individual leg strength while enhancing mobility and stability, kind of like in the warm up. okay? Those pants got smaller me real quick. This doesn't look that bad. When I was doing the video, it was bothering me a lot. All right, and then we're gonna just do some goblet loaded um, kettlebell squats. So I believe we did 20 reverse lunges. Again, that's gonna be 10 on each leg. And then we're gonna do 10 goblet squats. We're gonna go ahead and take a rest and then do this again. We're gonna perform three sets of this super set here. Okay. So we're already through our three super sets. The first super set was in the warm up, which was the kettlebell swing and the TRX squat. We got our second superset, which was the barbell lunge with the calf raise. And then we have our final superset here, which is the kettlebell reverse lunge with pass through and the kettlebell goblet squat. Again, I do thank you all for watching. I don't know if you've Stay posted uh, this past week, but I did post a new playlist with the Gorilla Bow series. I don't know if anyone has a Gorilla Bow or knows someone with a Gorilla Bow, um, but go ahead and share that with them. Um, trying to get more into making playlists for specific uh, equipment and exercises, just as tutorial for a lot of beginners or newbies looking to utilize their equipment or purchase new equipment. Uh, I know that during COVID, you know, a lot of people really aren't as active going to the gym. Uh, so uh, for whatever reason that may be. And I know myself that when I wasn't in the gym, you know, I needed something to uh, keep me physically active at home beyond calisthenics. Uh, so I picked up a Gorilla Bow and it really works. And so I went ahead and did a review and looking forward to utilizing that for my at home workouts, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day. Uh, here or there. Uh, it really just helps out just to keep physically active because um, not every thing fitness has to be done at the gym. Okay, so here we are on our last set of the reverse lunges with the kettlebell pass through. So we're all done with that there. And now we're gonna move into that enhanced functional recovery. So again, with the leg press, like I said, the wide stance is gonna work on the inner quad. The narrow stance is gonna focus on 
the outer quad. And if we put our feet at the top, we're gonna get more of a hamstring and a glute activation with our leg press. Okay, and then we, again, we have our wide stance. I do prefer the wide stance. Um, I am trying to work on my abductors and my, pretty much my hip complex uh, closer towards the, again, the abductors and the hips. So I'm gonna go with the wide stance, okay? So again, we're gonna perform 10 of these and I'm going to increase the weight. I believe the second set I was actually a little more prepared. I had the weight on the side so I didn't have to get all the way up and walk back and forth and yada, yada, yada. But I sped it up, okay. Playlist change. All right, so then we're gonna do another 10 here. So here we go with our stretches. I love stretching, especially on the leg press when you're already in that position. So I go ahead and get a cam hamstring, my hamstring stretch, and then I'm gonna start working my inner, then abductor muscle groups again. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm getting ready to add some more weight after I do my hamstring stretch. I'm not really big on like, the equipment and stuff that I use or the clothing that I wear uh, as far as putting it out there. Um, but as you most of you know, I do wear Adidas a lot. Um, I do like Adidas. So you can see my shoes are Adidas Fusio. Got a little $3 shirt I found at Dick's, had a coupon. So that shirt was really like $2. And the pants I got at Brown's are for like 15. That's why they're so small now. And of course I have my training mask on. I did a review on that, it was like one of my very first videos. Um, but this is my training mask. And again, I'm going through these stances. The standard stance, which I'm in now, is going to focus on overall uh, quad, all three quadricep muscles, okay? So I'm going to complete 10. Right. Like I said, I have my weight on the side of the little more prepared this time I will to get up and walk around. Kind of save some time on this video. And honestly, I need to see how long this video took. I mean, this um, workout took, I'm not sure. I gotta get fired up my workouts. All right, so we're gonna finish off with that last 10 on the leg press, and we are all done with this workout here. All right, everyone. So thank you for checking out this video that does summarize the leg superset here. Um, again, I didn't really do too much as far as weight. Again, I like to put my workouts as a guide. I tell all my clients, uh, it's not important to focus on the weight as it is important to focus on the way the sets and the reps are structured, you know, and just completing all the sets and the reps, no matter what the weight is. Again, my name is E. Will with E. Woody's Fitness. And if you enjoyed this workout or think anyone else might benefit it, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, share and like this video and go ahead and give it a try.